Hey everybody, it's Stacy coming to you again from home. It is almost the end of the month, so I need to work on the newsletter today. And it's hard to do that at the shop because um, the more interruptions I have, the more mistakes there are in the newsletter. So um, trying to keep it as mistake free as possible. It's just easier to do from home when there's no children here. So that's the key part is you gotta do it when kids are at school. Otherwise there's interruptions. Um, here I only have the dogs to bother me. And Peyton is here, but she's outside um, cleaning her truck up. So um, we got the new Gina K release. <coughs> Bella, no. Um, seems like arena video with uh, um, dogs barking in the back. <coughs> There's Peyton. She just finished cleaning her truck, or are you still working on it? I'm still working still on it. Still working on it. So she doesn't want to participate in this video, apparently. She's going to clean the truck extra good to make sure she doesn't have to. Um, so we've got all sorts of new stuff from Gina K. Even though I've got this here at home, the Gina stuff is already out on the shelf at the store. So you can stop in and pick it up. Uh, we've got lots of cool stuff this month. This one is one of my favorites. This is called Tall Pine Stamp Set. And I love that it is like almost the entire size of your A2 card. So you can just kind of put the stamp on it, put a sentiment, and it's good to go. That one again is called Tall Pines. We have this one here too, which is just as cool. And this one is called the Tall Birch. And uh, birch trees have always been popular, especially um, with uh, winter time and Christmas cards. But both of these would make excellent masculine cards. So, um, but they could be for anything. Throw a little bird on there. Um, it could really be a very simple card because these stamps are done so nicely. So I love those. Um, it's kind of a theme of trees this month at Gina K. This is another set that's got all sorts of trees on it. This one um, was made by Hannah and it's called You Warm My Heart. And you've got this nice row of trees. You've got three different, actually four different individual trees. And then you've got a couple mountains too. <clears throat> uh, you've got five different sentiments on this one. You've got You Warm My Heart, Wishing You a Season of Peace and Love, Sending You Warm Winter Wishes, all that glitters is snow. Through the, though the mountains be shaken and the hills be moved. Sorry, it's, I don't have very good lighting right here, so that's why I'm trying to hold it up to the window. Um, though the mountains be shaken and the hills be removed, God's unfailing love for you will remain. I believe that's what that says. It's kind of little writing, and I don't have very good lighting, even though I'm right by the window, so I apologize if I messed that up. Um, that one again is called You Warm My Heart. The last tree one that we have for you from Gina this month is from Beth and this is called Holiday Trees. And you've got um, different size trees, different shape trees, you've got some taller skinny ones, some shorter fatter ones. Um, you've got all different patterns on them. And then you've got your sentiments down here below. And you've also got um, like squares and circles and stars and things that you can decorate the trees with. Um, there is a coordinating die. And then your sentiments on this set, I can read much easier. Um, they're a little bit larger. Um, Merry, happy seasons, Christmas, peace and joy to the world. Um, and bright greetings, your family, holidays, eat, drink and be. Christmas on earth. Wishing you and New Year. So lots of options there. You can combine those uh, together to make different ones. And then, like I said, there is a matching die for the holiday tree set. <clears throat> if you're not ready for Christmas quite yet, which many of us are not, um, we do have this gorgeous set um, of leaves. And this is called Layered Leaf Prints. Super, super pretty. I've seen lots of samples of these online, but done by Gina's design team, and they are gorgeous. There is a die set, and your sentiments on this one are best friends, grateful, yours, in my heart, mine, and always. Hey, Peyton. My husband is calling, so I will decline that call for a second, and then <clears throat> finish this video up quick. So this one is called Colossal Coneflower. Um, your dad was just calling, and I had to decline the call. Can you call him back? Yeah because I'm sure he's just calling to say that he's ready. Um, so this is Colossal Coneflower, and it is gorgeous. Look at the details in those flowers. My mother-in-law has had coneflowers since I met my husband. 
<clears throat> which was when I was 17. So it's been a very long time. So I don't know all my flowers, but I definitely do know the cone flower. Um, I don't know if they come in different colors, but hers were always a really pretty purple. And she had quite a few of them at her last house. I'm not sure if she has any at the house she's at now because they moved a couple years ago, but she used to have a lot. Um, your sentiments on this set are a very happy hello, wishing you an awesome day, and you are the best friend ever. Here is your um, die set that goes with that set. And again, that one is called Colossal Coneflower. <clears throat> is he ready for us? In half an hour. Half an hour, perfect. We will be done with this video in well under half an hour. So uh, this one is from Lisa Hedrick, and this is called You Being You. This has also got some nice flowers on it. And um, you've got this uh, embroidery hoop. And your sentiments on this one are, the world needs more of you and thanks for being you. There is a um, matching die with that. And the flowers on this one are really nice. And I also love that this uh, embroidery hoop is like hand drawn. So your circle's not perfect, um, but it makes it give the, um, makes people realize it's more of a handmade card that way. Um, that it's not just something you bought. It looks like you did it yourself because you did. And your die is shaped perfectly to cut that out for you, too. So your sentiments, again, are thanks for being you, and the world needs more of you. That's a nice uh, nice sentiment to put on a card. This one here is called Santana Rose Stamp Set. <clears throat> and this one, sorry again about the glare. Um, this one has three different sentiments and that large rose. And... Your sentiments are, you're my best friend forever. Um, how did I ever make it before I knew you? That's an awesome uh, sentiment to put in a card. I really wish we lived closer to each other. So those are all beautiful sentiments along with that beautiful rose. And then, let's see, a couple more stamp sets here. This is a larger one. This is from Emily, who I believe is still on maternity leave, Emily Loggins. Um, she had a little baby boy. And this is called Christmas Script. She is on Gina's design team also, but she also works for Gina in the shipping department, but I'm pretty sure she's still off. Um, so your sentiments here, you've got a whole bunch of them. Uh, please do not open until December 25th. Merry Christmas, season's greetings, happy holidays, from our home to yours, with lots of love. Uh, please deliver from, by, to, those two little dots after the to and from. Um, and, peace, joy, merry, bright, dear Santa, oh come let us adore him. Wishing you all the hope, wonder, and joy that the season can bring from our home to yours and happy holidays. Um, you can see there is beautiful, beautiful writing on that. Emily's got amazing handwriting. She actually teaches classes on how to do hand lettering. Um, and so I talked to her at uh, Junkie Fest in July about coming to teach a hand lettering class at Scrap Mania um, in 2020. So once she has, gets back from maternity leave, we'll get those details all figured out and she'll be coming next year. Um, here is a set from Melanie and this is called Palette Christmas. This is also another large set that's got tons and tons of stamps on it. You've got uh, lots of images and a few words. Your words are hope, merry, Christmas, family, and believe. And then I'll hold this up a little bit longer so you can see all those images. You've got stockings and um, houses, lanterns, jars, trees, uh, firewood, um, candlesticks, doves, crosses, greenery. What are these down here? I think that might be for like a mantle. So lots and lots of good options on there. And a lot of these are smaller, so these would be perfect in your Gina K. Wreath Builder. So pick up that set. That one again is called the Palette Christmas. The last stamp that I have for you is called Wishes Stamp Set. Um, this one is a previous release, but we were out of it. We did have the die at the store that cuts out the word wishes, but we were out of the word or the stamp that match, matched it. So we got that in. And then we got the new Gina K. stencils. So there are four different stencils. This one is called Stellar Snowflake. These are absolutely stunning with the Gina K um, Thermoweb Glitter Glitch Gels. So if you haven't seen these stencils or the Glitter Glitch Gels, you need to check those out. They are amazing. This one is called the Snowflake Mandala. 
They are totally different snowflakes from each other. So don't think, oh, well, I don't need two snowflakes. You absolutely do because these are both stunning. And then here is the Mandala Burst, which is different from the Mandala Snowflake. So let me show you that. So now you need three stencils. And then the fourth stencil that you need is called Sassy Stripes. So this is a great stripe. If you, um, I like that it's diagonal, not just uh, horizontal or vertical. And you can turn it this way and make your diagonal go the other way too. And somehow, I don't know why these ended up in my Gina K pile, but apparently they were supposed to be in the video too. Um, these we've had before, <clears throat> but like I said, they're in the pile, so we should talk about them. Uh, these are both dies from Elizabeth Crafts. I've got a circle and an oval here. We also have other shapes. And um, Elizabeth Crafts have really great prices on their stacked dies. So there are nine dies here. Um, each one is stitched or pierced. So it goes like uh, stitched, pierced, stitched, pierced all the way in. And like I said, there is nine for less than $20. So it's a great price point. And then the ovals are the same way. They are stitched and pierced too. And you can see that if I flip it around backwards. And the ovals, there's only six of. There's not quite as many. But Elizabeth has a great, Elizabeth Crafts has great prices on their dies. So check those out. Uh, those are one of Nikki's favorites when she's making cards. Um, today is Wednesday, um, October 30th. So like I said, working on the newsletter. Let me show you here. I've got newsletter stuff going on. So working on that today. And then um, hopefully I, I'm going to try and get that done today, but I don't know that's quite possible. There's still quite a bit left and I don't have all my samples for my teachers yet. Tracy, waiting on you. Um, I already talked to her today. She'll be sending that to me later, but um, the sooner the better. Uh, samples are supposed to be to me by the 25th so that I can get all this stuff wrapped up in time to get it out to you guys by the 1st. But if I don't have my samples, I can't finish my newsletter. So um, <clears throat> want to be able to show you guys everything that's coming up and um, going on at Scrap Mania. We've got um, Halloween tomorrow, which is uh, a closing early day for us. We have uh, hours of 10 to 6 instead of 10 to 8 because of Halloween. And um, so we can I can come home, get my kids um, ready to trick or treat for their last year, I believe. Um, my husband thought they should already be done, but they're still in middle school. And um, I used to, it used to annoy me when uh, older kids were at trick or treating. But somebody told me once they could be out doing a lot worse than trick or treating. So it made sense and I'm like, you're right. And um, so they're in middle school and Brigham and Braxton are. And then uh, Savannah is actually trick-or-treating tomorrow night. Also, she is a freshman at Kennedy, um, but she is trick-or-treating for UNICEF. So you collect money instead of candy and then you give them candy when they give you um, their change for UNICEF. So she'll be doing that. Bella, I'm in the middle of a video. No squeaking toys. <laughs> um, so here's stuff that's going on so I can work on that newsletter. Some really important things that I want to talk about um, that are early, just in case you don't see your newsletter right away. Uh, we've got two classes on Saturday uh, with Cindy. We've got a card class um, from 1030 to 1230 that I believe we still have a couple openings in. And then we also have a foiling class um, from 2 to 4 on Saturday as well, the second. Um, that foiling class is amazing. You learn how to make shaker cards. You learn how to use uh, foil with and without a laminator. You use transfer gel. You use all sorts of stuff. So I highly recommend that class um, so you can learn how to foil. Foiling makes um, gorgeous cards. They look difficult, but they're super easy. You just gotta learn how to use it. And then um, you can make cards, gift tags, all sorts of stuff for your um, friends and family. So I highly recommend the foiling class on Saturday the 2nd with Cindy. Call the store to get registered for anything or stop in. Um,